Hi YouTube, my name is Jacinta and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to use a sterilizer and how to maintain our MAM bottles. Well, I'm using MAM, but you might have another brand of bottles. And um, yeah, let's get started. So, as I said, I use the MAM bottles. So, first thing I do is turn up the hot water just a bit, not too much that it's burning me, but <laughs> I turn it up enough that it's a little bit hotter than usual. So, first things first, go in, close the water. Go in, scrub it all the way around, especially in the bottom. As you can see, there's a, a dip, so you need to get all up in there. Go all the way around. Then in the teeth you can see there's a gap where the sponge doesn't go all the way up so that's what this end bit is for just go in scrub out all the dried milk parts and then scrub around the edges as well and then scrub the top then I also scrub inside the lid because obviously the teeth touches the lid now the reason why I'm showing you this video in particular, MAM bottles open at the end, unlike other branded bottles, and in here can get dirty because milk is a liquid. So anywhere where there's a joining, liquid can seep in, get dry, and create all kinds of mess. So this rubber disc comes out, clean it, the top, clean all in there, and then the bottle itself, clean around the joining because that's where you can find dry specks of milk that have been built up if you forget to wash the inside of it and then the top bit as well now I also wash the outside of my bottles because you touch them with your greasy hands with your unsanitized hands <laughs> so I also wash the outside then rinse it Now, this just pushes in, get rid of excess water, push it all the way down, yeah, make sure it's pointing up and it's not folded in. Take your bottle, screw it back on, rinse it one more time, and that's the top part. The teeth pops out, you take it out, and I'll show you why in a minute, and then just rinse the lid. So now, to the sterilizer. This is the brand of sterilizer I have. It's a mother care brand, a bit old school. <laughs> but the, found, the general idea of sterilizers is there's a base which will now have the plate that heats up the water so, and the base is where you put the cold water, I would say. That's how far I fill it up. Plug that in, but don't switch it on. And then there's the body, which is now where you put the bottles. And if you open it up, there's the lid. There's another section for the teeth. So, this particular sterilizer has six spaces so i just put those two these two these little bottles on the end and then now this part that i took off goes in there so that every little nook and cranny gets sterilized so just take out the teeth take off the lid put that in there and then that's that section put the top bit on and the teeth go there make sure they're central because otherwise the top bit won't sit on properly then that goes on top and then the lids go on and that's it that's how it fits together now we switch it on there's a light that comes on to say it's on standby and you have to press it on 
now and that's it really so that's how you assemble and you use a sterilizer now each cycle takes about five minutes five to six minutes but i wouldn't advise that in five to six minutes you now come and put the bottles together unless you know baby's crying you need to make the bottle now 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 um otherwise it's one of those oh, oh, it's hot kind of situations <laughs> so come and switch it off and then wait another 10 minutes for it to cool down so then that way you can assemble the bottles properly without the plastic burning you and um that's it so we'll come back and i'll show you how to reassemble the bottles okay guys we're back so first things first is we wash our hands because we're about to touch um sterilized bottles so just make sure your hands are nice and clean rinse and the nails all that good stuff so now our hands are washed we can assemble the bottles so if you come closer you can see that there's a green tick which lets us know that it's finished sterilizing and i let it sit here for 10 minutes before coming back so once you open it tilt it because there's a lot of water that needs to be shaken off and in this section just put that in there and as you can see all the steam now take it you'll need to shake off some excess water and you need to just make sure that the joinings are nice and secure yeah <laughs> tight. yeah make sure that's nice and tight and then these small bottles which we use to mix some milk or if we're traveling with some milk or even to store boiled water Top. Now you grab, pull it till you hear that noise. Grab, pull till you hear that noise. Or some people might feel a bit funny about that, so you can just grab it quickly and push it that way. But that way is just longer, and really, you've already touched it. That's why we wash our hands. <laughs> so I just find that unnecessary. Pull it, put the lid on, close it. Now these two are just small bottles, which in the early days help because they're drinking like 50 ml, 60 ml. And on the man bottles, you can see it starts at 60. So if they're drinking um, 60 or 50 ml, in terms of mixing it in here, it's a bit hard to see. But here you can just easily see the line, mix a 60, shake it and put it in there. Or if you have a smaller one. But since she's older now, she's drinking like 180, we don't mix anything in here. But what we do use these for is for, we boil the hot water, I mean, we boil the water, let it cool down. And then we put the water in here and store it in the fridge. So if we've gotten busy, we've forgotten that, oh, she's due to eat, we can just boil the kettle and then use some of the cold water with the freshly boiled water to get it to a temperature where we can mix it straight away. Now I'll show you that in another video. And that's it. So these are, put the lids back on. Shake off any excess water. Put that back. There's still water at the base, remember, so don't move it around too much. But that's it. And our bottles are washed and sterilized and good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, to comment, to like and share and leave me any messages. And if you want me to tell you about the products, I can leave some information in the description box. But until then, see you in the next video, guys.